Good afternoon. My name is Miroslav Boyko. I represent Nutrition Academic Lyceum. Language is a living organism that constantly changes and evolves. This process is influenced by the rapid development of the world we live in. The lexical composition of a language is a direct reflection of the events taking place in society. Therefore, alongside rapid scientific and technological progress and the emerge of new devices, there arises a need to name these new realities, concepts and phenomena. As a result, new words, known as neologisms, appear in the language. The scientific and technical field is one of the most favorable environments for the emergence of new vocabulary, as change in this domain occur constantly and rapidly. Today, we cannot imagine our lives without various computer technologies or the Internet. It is in this field that new concepts and phenomena emerge at an incredible speed, creating a need for their designation. The aim of this research is to define the features of the emergence of neologisms, uh, their functioning in the field of computer technologies, as well as to conduct a through analysis and characterization based on their semantic and structural features. To achieve the aim of this study, the following tasks are to be done. Revealing different approaches of, uh, to defining the concept of neologism. Identifying methods of classification of neologisms. Highlighting the methods of neologism creation and isolating the semantic characteristics of neologisms uh, in the field of computer technologies. The object of the research is English neologisms in the field of computer technologies, and the subject of the research is the structural and semantic features of computer neologisms uh, in the English language. The term neologism refers to a newly coined word, expression or meaning that has recently entered a language but has not yet been fully established or widely accepted. Neologisms often emerge in response to social, cultural, technological or scientific developments and can be created through various linguistic processes such as borrowing, blending, affixation or semantic shifts. What are the classification of neologisms in English? Neologisms in English can be classified based on their origin, formation process, and function. The main types include lexical neologisms, newly created words or phrases that introduce a new concept, coinages, completely new words like Google or Kodak, loan words borrowed from other languages like sushi, from Japanese or déjà vu from French. Blends, combination of two words, uh, for example, brunch, breakfast plus lunch, or smoke, smoke plus fog. Semantic neologisms, existing words that acquire uh, new meanings. Meaning shift, words uh, used in a new context. Ex for example, cloud now refers to online storage. Metaphorical extensions, what is uh, that developed in a creative uh, meanings uh, like mouse for a computer device? Morphological neologisms, words uh, created through common word formation processes. Affixation uh, is adding prefixes or suffixes. For example, selfie from self plus ie or, or unfriend from un uh, plus friend. Compounding, uh, merging two words into one. Laptop, smartphone. Abbreviation, formed from initials, like COVID-19 uh, means coron coronavirus disease uh, 2019, NFT, non-fungible token. Metaphorical and extension, assigning new meanings to exciting words based on analogy or metaphor. Examples, mouse, computer device, cloud, internet storage, or virus, uh, digital malware. And technological and social influence. New words emerge due to advancement in technologies, uh, science and culture. For example, cybersecurity, metaverse, influencer, uh, and cancel culture. 
What are the features of neologism formation in English language? The creation of neologisms is in English follows several linguistic patterns and processes that reflect the dynamic nature of the language. The main features include affixation, the addition of prefixes or suffixes to the existing words to create new meanings, uh, like friend, un plus friend, or reboot, re plus boot, and suffixes, uh, blocker, block plus er, and friendship, friend plus ship. Compounding the combination of two or more words into a single unit, like lap plus top, laptop, uh, smart plus phone means smartphone, and walk plus uh, alcoholic, walkaholic. Blending the merging of parts of two words to form a new one. Uh, for example, brunch, breakfast plus lunch, smog, smoke plus fog, and glumping. Glamorous plus camping. Clipping, the shortening of loner words uh, while maintaining their original meanings. Up from application, flu from, from influ influenza, and block from web block. Acronyms and in initialisms, forming words from the initial letters or phrase. Uh, NASA, National uh, Aeronautics and Space Administration or AI, artificial intelligence. Conversion, uh, changing a word's part of speed without altering its form. For example, Google, uh, verb to Google. Text, verb to text someone. And reduplication, the repetition of sounds, uh, syllables of words for emphasis or stylistic effect. For example, bling bling, expensive, mumbo-jumbo confusing, or wishy-washy whack. What is the role of neologisms in scientific and technical texts? Neologisms play a crucial role in scientific and technical texts as they reflect the ongoing advancements in technology, engineering, medicine, and other specialized fields. Their primary functions include con conceptualization of new phenomena, as scientific progress introduces new discoveries, neologisms help name and define previously unknown concepts, for example, quantum computing or nanomaterials. Precision and standard standardization. New terms ensure charity and specificity in technical communication, preventing ambiguity. Blockchain, uh, dark matter, and facilitating international communication. Many scientific and technical neologisms become global standards, allowing researchers and professionals worldwide to communicate efficiently. Uh, for example, big data uh, or 5G technology. Enhancing research and innovation, the creating of neologisms offer often uh, accompanies groundbreaking research, making it easier to document and discuss innovations like um, machine learning, uh, bioengineering, or quantum supremacy. Pop popularization of scientific knowledge. Some neologisms transition from specialized fields into mainstream usage, increasing public awareness or of scientific and technological developments, self-driving cars or uh, smart home as example. Influence of digitalization and artificial intelligence. Rapid technological growth continuously introduces new terms related to digitalization and artificial intelligence. For example, deepfake, chatbot, or cloud computing. And economic and commercial impact. Many technical neologisms originate in the business and industrial sectors, driving market trends and technological brands, like fintech, financial technology, IoT, Internet of Things, or biotech. The next slide represents the classification of neologisms in the field of computer technology by semantics. 
neologisms in computer technology emerge to describe new concepts, uh, processes and innovations in the rapidly evolving digital world. Based on their semantic properties, these neologisms can be classified into the following categories. Hardware-related neologisms. These terms describe uh, physical components of computing devices. Motherboard, uh, GPU, uh, graphics processing unit, or SSD, solid-state drive. Software-related neologisms. Terms in this category refer to various programs, applications, and operating systems, filmware, malware, or cloud computing. Uh, internet and networking terms. These neologisms define concepts relating to online communication, connectivity, and data transfer, for example, Wi-Fi, streaming, or uh, cyberspace. Cybersecurity and data protection. This category includes terms related to digital security and privacy, like firewall, patient, uh, ransomware, or VPN, virtual private network. Artificial intelligence and machine learning. Neologisms in this group describe emerging AI technologies and automated system, uh, deep learning, neural network, chatbot, or algorithm bias social media and digital communication. These terms describe ter uh, trends and innovations in online interaction. For example, meme, influencer, vlogging, or hashtag. Gaming and virtual reality. Neologisms in this field uh, relate to digital entertainment, simulations, and interactive media, like eSports, Avatar, Lootbox, Big data and cloud technologies. This category includes terms associated with large-scale data, uh, data processing and remote computing, like data mining, blockchain, uh, serverless computing. Programming and development. These neologisms describe coding languages, frameworks, and method met met methodologies. For example, debugging, open source, uh, DevOps, and sandboxing. And digital economy and e-commerce. Terms related to online business models, transactions, and financial technologies. For example, cryptocurrency, vintage, or dropshipping. So, on the ground of given facts, we have come to the following conclusions. By shaping scientific the scores neologisms ensure that technical language remains dynamic, relevant, and adaptable to new discoveries and innovations. Neologisms are more often formed due to the internal resources of the language using word, form, uh, word formation methods such as affixation, conversion, compounding, and abbreviation. Each of neologism categories represents an essential aspect of modern computing, reflecting the continuous growth and adaptation of language in the digital age. To sum up, neology as a science undoubtedly requires further study. It can be noted that uh, further research into neologisms, their formation and their functioning in various fields of human activity is essential. Thank you for your attention.